What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Hey, it's Dave, AKA Tactical Beaver, and Ryan from the gun department at Tactical Ship. Uh, hopefully, most of you know by now, we would hope at this juncture that the secret's out that we have now started selling firearms. And so as such, we're trying to refocus on building some of our platforms like YouTube, Facebook, and some of the places that didn't necessarily like us for a while. Just a um, little bit. Just a little bit. So we used to have some large channels, We've kind of revamped that and now we're kind of starting from scratch again. So thank you for joining us and we want you to like that, like, subscribe, share, help us get this out there and grow this channel, grow this platform. Don't be shy. What are we gonna talk about today? So today we're gonna to bring you some information on a new platform from Grand Power. Yes. Which is the Strybog S, this little guy here. Now you've probably heard the term Strybog in the past. Maybe it's even a four letter word to you. Uh, but we are happy to say that this thing is legit. Yeah, it, At, it has come a long way. It's, it's, the growing pains have been, they, it's grown. Yeah. We have moved past the teething issues and we are into a full functioning, um, very impressive platform. Similar to the AR or the AK, this, it can be considered a platform. They, uh, they came out with the S and the G, which is the Glock lowered version. You can see the S here is the five inch barrel. The G there has the eight inch barrel. Um, these things are fully ambidextrous. They, they have aftermarket support now. You're seeing charging handles, shock buffers, uh, back plates, braces, stocks, um, all, the, all the Gucci bells and whistles. And we just wanna go into a little bit more depth of what these guns can do, because we have put a significant yeah. amount of rounds through some of these. And um, yeah. yeah, and before we even do that, like, so we first saw these at SHOT Show um, we were asked to come by the, the Grand Power uh, booth, Global Ordinance, Global yeah. Ordinance and yeah. the distributor in the U.S. And so we wanted to see, and we're like, okay, it's a stride blog. We've been selling them. They've been doing really well. Uh, but what's new? So the two new models, the S and the G, we got super excited about because they told us not only just are these new models, but as Ryan said, they are the catalyst for this gun becoming its own platform. One of the really unique things about any of the Strybogs is that the upper receiver is the serialized part. So unlike, say, an AR-15 or a Glock, the upper receiver is the serialized part. So you have the option to change triggers. You can change even lowers, change mag types. So I could have a mag take a Glock, or I can have a lower that will take, say, CZ mags. Yep. Um, so if you already have mags, you have ways to be able to adapt. And I think that's super cool. One of the things that we thought was awesome is before we get into the differences between these and the other Strybogs, is that with all the Strybogs, you get a host of really, really cool features right out of the box. Mm -hmm. One of which being, you get sights. These which sights- are accurate out of the box. Right, they Just actually so work. Know. Yeah, we, you know, they are not, uh, they're more, what I would say is a combat sight, would you say? Yeah. Um, you know, it's not gonna be a precision sight, um, but they work. And the cool thing is, is if you don't want them, you can flip them out of the way but you still actually have, you won't be able to see it on camera, but there's little nubbins here that make it almost like little pistol sights. Has all the ability to be fully ambidextrous, something I really, really enjoy because I'm a lefty and most people don't make guns that I can operate on my side of the gun and be able to function with. So I thought that's pretty cool. Ambidextrous controls all the way through. Extremely intuitive. I mean, I can't even tell you how intuitive it is to shoot this gun. Um, it's it's a breeze. It's easy. If you're if you're looking for a gun for your family, if you're looking for a gun for your wife, something that's not going to scare the bejesus out of her. Um, I think we heard Biden say use a shotgun. Yeah, um, no. A lot of women don't like shooting 12 gauge shotgun, especially with you know high right. brass. But this thing, I guarantee you, uh, she's going to have fun shooting this. You, you know, your children are going to have fun shooting this, and so will you. The way we have this one set up, it's a little gucci out. We got some, a Surefire on top, an angled foregrip. Uh, we kind of recommend the angled foregrip a little bit unless you're gonna go low on your mag well. Um, if you keep your hand up high, you might grab around the uh, bolt release and that could keep it from locking back, which is a big perk for this gun compared to like an MP5. This thing lock back, locks back on last round and uh, allows you to do mag reloads very, very easily. Push down with your finger here. Um, what, Ryan, what's one of the, the differences between, so the S is the new model. So there's the S and the G. What's the main difference on the S? So the main difference on the S is the barrel length. So this thing is a five inch barrel um, and it's tiny. So when it's collapsed, at least with this, with this setup, with the PDW collapsible brace, 
this thing is tiny. Uh, it also comes in a side folder and a just straight pistol. But this thing, you can put into a backpack, perfect for a truck gun. Hell, this thing could even be a nightstand gun if you really wanted it to, because you can put this thing in action. We're gonna have a lot, we have a lot of other range footage that we're gonna be uh, rolling yeah. into this. And hopefully you you're see, watching some of that right now. Yeah, so. you'll see some of this stuff. Um, we've taken this to competitions. Like I said, we put a over, little over a thousand rounds to this thing. We've, we've shot it suppressed. It does everything that you ask of it and more. Every time we put this in a customer's hand at the shop, which we have guns that you can touch and, and play with at the shop at our headquarters here in St. Peter's, Missouri. Um, every time somebody touches this thing, they're impressed and 50% of them end up buying one. Absolutely. Yeah. What, one of the things that I thought was so cool is that the S model is, it is, it's smaller, more compact, shorter, as the S would indicate. Mm -hmm. um, it really, if I can borrow real quick, Go it really it. Uh, harkened me back to, because I'm an old person, old head. Uh, it really harkened me back to that video of the yeah. Reagan assassination attempt, where old boy all of a sudden comes out and then all of a sudden he's in action with that Uzi. Yeah. That was when SMGs kind of first to me, oh, wow, these really actually have some validity. Um, Ryan mentioned earlier about usability and easeability and use of shooting. We're going to roll in some footage, but having never fired these guns before, we picked them up and we're able to do just great Mozambique drills, yeah. you know, Failure two to the drills, body, yeah, one to the head. Um, I was able to do reloads at a very efficient pace. And we also put it, through, happy. Yeah, yeah. we put it through its paces with all of the different mags, um, no issues there. Like we do recommend the curved mags just for ease of use, really. Yeah. Um, yeah. The reloads just feel nice. better with yeah. the curved mag. Uh, but we put it through its paces as best we can in such a short period of time. Um, it also, I know there's been some questions about, can you sling this thing? Absolutely. Uh, there's a cute, couple of QD points in the back uh, of the back plate. You just put that sling right in there. You might have to swivel it around a little bit to get that finish worn off, but yeah, it sits perfectly. One point sling, wrap it around the body uh, and then go to work. But yeah, we've seen, we've done a lot of testing. Like I said, we put suppressors on it. We've shot it in every variation that we can think of and it's worked every freaking time. And one of the biggest things is with these guns to be able to get so small, we went to the range and in this, uh, most people call this an assault pack or day pack. We were able to fit both of these Strybogs, nine magazines, a thousand rounds of ammo, and no issue at all. And, and no a sling issue. and some ear pro and stuff like that. And this is what most people call, like I said, an assault or day pack. You can fit so much. This can go so many places. I see this being perfect for your backpackers, your hikers, um, great self-defense gun. If you're traveling, this can easily fit into a laptop bag, briefcase, suitcase. Guys, check us out, shop.tacticalshit.com. We have lots of stride bogs in stock right now. Um, and to reiterate earlier, we appreciate your time watching us. Absolutely. We're gonna to try to bring you the best content we can. If you have ideas, if you if you know of things that you want us to do content on, whether it's gun reviews, educational, let us know. If you've picked up one of these from us, let us know how you like it. Um, we'll be glad to hear about it. And uh, again, we want you to be safe out there. And yeah. And in the comments, throw in, if you have picked, if you own a Strabog, how have you customized it? What have you done to upgrade it? What parts and accessories have you added to it? And what are the wish list of parts? You know, what if you could have things to add to it, what would you want? Maybe we'll review some of those. Absolutely. Be safe, guys. Take care.